Hello, Better Lesson. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the class economy that I have uh, in school. The kids really love it. They go crazy over it. And more importantly than that, it's not just a management tool. It's really a way that I can reinforce all the cultural things that I expect, especially when I'm asking them to do so many different things and throwing new words at them like synergy and uh, focus and uh, curiosity and all of these things that they're not necessarily sure what it looks like at first. Um, this allows me to kind of teach it by doing rather than teach it just by saying or telling them what I want. So this is the basic screen here on Class Dojo. For those of you who haven't used it, it's a free to use management system. Um, it, it, it allows for a lot of personalization. So usually the things that you see me talking about here like can be changed for you too. So let me give you one possible example there. Um, when you first sign in, you'll put in all your students and you'll also be asked to put the different uh, categories that you'd like to be able to give points for. So here are just some examples of some of the points that I give. And you see I have a lot, um, sometimes more than other students. But just to give you an example of how this ties in specifically to Blended, um, for students who complete homework on Friday, I open it up from the online platforms that we use. For each one that's completed, it's an extra for what we call dojo dollars. Um, these dollars continue to accumulate, as does you know job payment. Um, here's another one that kind of talking about um, synergy, where students are showing. Uh, synergy at some point and usually I, especially early in the year you want to be specific as to why you gave them that money so for example oh wow Arnez um, you really pushed his thinking by saying well how, how come you got that instead of just saying that he was wrong so that's why I gave you uh, an extra two dollars uh, for synergy on um, the flip side of that and there's always a flip is uh, the I guess negative points or in my class I more frame them because it's an economy as fines and fees so, uh, for an example, um, here's a big one, right? If students are not doing workshop and what it looks like, I mean, see, it would, it would be a, take a long time to teach that, but eventually they learn what all of those things are just from being able to see this displayed as they work. Uh, and that's another key thing, um, too, is even when this program is not being displayed, I use my phone um, so that I can seamlessly give and take points as needed. Um, and the students can still hear it. So there's many different display settings. You can have students, uh, you know, show only the positive points or show only the negative points. But perhaps the greatest feature, uh, especially this year, as I've continued to evolve my blended practice, has been the fact that students themselves have accounts that they can log into and monitor their progress. So once a month, students have to take a look at their class dojo. Um, they can edit their monster uh, if they would like. They can also attach their parents to their account, which allows me to send mass text out here in messages, um, as you can see. Um, and uh, through the report feature, um, students are asked to give a reflection based upon how they feel like their uh, both behavior and performance has been. We call it a performance review. So um, the... Uh, Last thing, I think, and this might be the most important thing here, I'll sh uh, show you a potential report. Um, you can see that the way that I utilize this is very positive. Um, at this point, I'm seeing a lot of uh, good behaviors out of my students, um, and this is a big reason why they, um, they love these uh, dojo dollars that they get, because at the end of the week on Friday, um, they get to spend them. So another great thing about this is if for economies, sometimes the hassle is, you know, dealing with all the money and uh, how do we give uh, students uh, prizes? Uh, I don't want to keep spending money for them. Um, in some ways, this is a self-sufficient system uh, because once the students get paid uh, in little paper, uh, then I can just reset their bubbles. Um, and this does not reset their data, so at any time I can pull up their data for any meetings or anything that I need. Um, <clears throat> but it does allow me to start fresh every week and give students like a, another chance. Um, especially, this is especially great for those students who had maybe one or two days where they were not 100% on point. So the Dojo Dollar uh, store 
has a lot of little trinkets, but mostly it's stuff that the students themselves have developed and as saying that they want. Um, so sometimes it's, you know, some nerdy stuff, like they get to pop on an iPad and do some work at any time that they want, or uh, it might be to have lunch with their teacher, um, which I don't know why they would want to do that. But um, they find ways to spend their money, and it really makes it all worthwhile for them. In addition, this year I've also implemented, like, bills that they have to pay. So they have to pay rent on their desk. They have to uh, pay the light bill. Um, and all of that kind of grounds them, and it's kind of cool to have discussions as they, you know, you see their face drop when they've got a $200 in their hand and it, it whittles down to 100 Um but but it's all it's all good fun and I think that that's that's really something that's important for me to keep this positive atmosphere in the classroom and class dojo and the class dojo uh, economy that I have in my store is really an excellent means to do that.